Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about finding the equation of quadratic functions given the zeros of any given quadratic function. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here are examples that we need to determine the equation of quadratic function given the following zeros. By the way, guys, let me explain that these zeros are the x-intercepts of the quadratic function. And the formula to get the zeros of the quadratic function is that we need to use y is equal to the quantity of x minus x sub 1 times x minus x sub 2. Here, in our given formula, what we have here are x, x sub 1, x, and x sub 2 because the zeros here, 3 and negative 5, this one, your x sub 1 is equal to 3. Your x sub 2 is equal to negative 5. What we need to do is substitute these values to the given formula. Let's substitute the formula. y is equal to this x will be copied as x. Then here, as you can see, we have minus x sub 1. When you substitute 3 to the given formula, if this is positive, make it as negative or minus 3. You need to reverse the symbol or the sign of the value of x. Next, we have here x minus x sub 2. Copy the variable x. Since this is minus, when you substitute negative 5, it will become plus 5. And come on, notice nyo, here from positive, it became minus 3 or negative 3. This one, from negative 5, it became positive 5. And let's do the FOIL method. So let's multiply the terms. x times x. That is equal to x squared. This x and 5, that would be plus 5x. Next, negative 3 and x. Multiply them. It would be negative 3x. Next is negative 3 and 5. That would be negative 15. And as you can see, guys, we need to combine the second term and the third term. Copy y and then x squared. What is 5x minus 3x? Definitely, that would be 5. Sorry, that is 2x. Then copy minus 15. And this is now the equation of the given quadratic function whose zeros are 3 and negative 5. Okay guys, I hope you learned something from example number 1. Now let's move on with example number 2. For number 2, the zeros are 2 and 1 third. Here, using the same formula, let me copy the formula, y is equal to x minus x sub 1 times x minus x sub 2. The value of x sub 1 is 2. The value of x sub 2, that is equal to 1 third. Let's substitute. You have your y is equal to x. This is positive. Definitely that would be minus 2. And as for this one, we need to do something here. So we will create a separate solution to the right side of the paper. Since this one is x sub 2 is equal to 1 third, this one is also equal the same as x is equal to 1 over 3. What we need to do is to create a binomial, multiply x and 3, that would be 3x and then equal to 1. Then after that, transpose 1 here to the other side of the equation, it will become 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. So what we're going to do here for this part is that we will put here 3x minus 1. So this x sub 2 is equal to 1 third is the same as 3x minus 1. Now, let's apply FOIL method, first terms, x times 3x, that would be 3 x square. Next, this one, the last terms. x times negative 1, that is negative x. 
Next, you have negative 2 times 3x. Multiply them, you have negative 6x. Next, we have negative 2 times negative 1. That is positive 1. Combine the middle terms. You have your y is equal to 3x squared. Negative x minus 6x, that is minus 7x. Then plus 1. And as you can see, this is now the answer for item number 2. So I hope guys, you learned something from this video. And as part of our routine, let me give you the third example. This is letter C. I want you to determine or find the equation of the quadratic function given the zeros 5 and negative 4. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to find or determine the equation of a quadratic function given the zeros or the intercepts of any quadratic function. Now guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the notification bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads again. It's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!